Good evening, folks, and welcome to another edition of Ice Wolves Insider. And it's Liam Brennan! The hat trick goal wins the Credit Union Cup for the LeBron Ice Wolves! On tonight's program, we will be chatting with Ice Wolves players Travis Egan and Adam Barco, as well as Ice Wolves head coach and director of hockey operations Bob Beatty. And then in our From the Stand segment, we'll be chatting with Ice Wolves followers Pete Kratzmer and Kevin Radloff. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Ice Wolves Insider. We're joined now by Ice Wolves uh, returning players Travis Egham and Adam Barco. Uh, gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thanks for having Thank us. So obviously a couple of preseason games in the books. That's it for your preseason this year. Two wins. You have to be very happy about that. Um, can you describe the, the mood in the dressing room heading into the season on the heels of uh, what turned out to be a pretty decent training camp for you guys? I'll start with you there, Travis. Well, it's kind of hasn't really changed much from last year because we had such a short off season, but everybody's come back, we're all happy, and everybody's excited to see everybody, and the new guys are fitting in well, and we're really thinking that it's going to be a good start. Yeah. Adam, yeah, your thoughts on what you've seen so far? Yeah, you know, we got some new faces in the room and lots of old faces, I guess you could say, and we're just, I think we're really comfortable with how we're looking right now, and, you know, we're going to be out with confidence, and but uh, no, we're, we seem to be getting together good and everybody's getting along with everyone. Mm-hmm. Well, let's, let's look back at the, the two preseason games. First, the home game. I don't think you guys, uh, Adam, you weren't playing in that first game. No. Travis, I think. Were yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. Um, I imagine you both saw it, though, obviously. Uh, what was your take on, on the 9 8 victory by the Bulls? Let's start with you there, Travis. Well, it was the battle of the goaltend. Um, basically, Miles came out and he was a little shaky. You could tell he was nervous. and. As soon as he let those couple goals in, he really tightened up and started playing his hockey. Like he shouldn't, he doesn't let those goals in usually. And I've seen him play before, and he's a solid goaltender. And same with Austin, he was a little shaky right off the start, but he really came in, and you could see that with the game yesterday. Um, but I really think that our offense is going to be solid, and we're deep up front. And we didn't have a couple guys on the point that we usually do, and. I think the other guys that played back there were getting a little more confident, and that's what everything needs to happen. You need to have confidence to be able to make those plays. Hmm. Adam, what did you see in that 9 victory? Yeah, well, we weren't sure on offense, that's for sure. We <laughs> put up a few goals, and yeah, you know, those new goalies, you know, there's their first time, and they're just getting their feet wet. So, you know, they, have, they got their shots, and, you know, they're starting to get more comfortable, and you can see even in practice that they're, you know, they're a little bit more confident, and you know, joking around and when it's time and they just feel like they're, they're fitting in nicely. Now, uh, Saturday nights in, in Melford, in a place that really is pre-season, regular season playoffs, has been historically a tough place for the Wolves to win. You guys come out with a pretty uh, convincing 5-1 victory. Again, it's the preseason, but uh, as we get closer to the season opener, the teams are actually dressing more veterans. Uh, obviously, you guys have to be happy with what you saw, that not only having the offense, but also the defense uh, tight up back in a certain few of the traps. Well, I didn't play, but uh, watching, we played a solid game, uh, getting pucks deep, you know. Um, defensively, we looked a lot better. We were collapsing to the house, and we didn't let too many shots go from the inside of the house. Everything was more to the outside, and we let Adam see them, and getting pucks out and getting them deep, and the boys were just, they looked like they were having fun out there, and then started getting a little chippy towards the end, and that's just, that's our kind of hockey. We love that and we thrive off it, I guess. But yeah. looked like they had fun. Yeah. Uh, Adam, uh, I believe you only saw maybe, uh, were you in that the entire game? Uh, no, just for 40 minutes. Okay, but uh, 22 or 23 shots on that total uh, against the Wolves. So obviously the guys in front of you were, were doing the job. Uh, how did you see that game? Yeah, we, uh, we tightened up a lot better and guys were, well, with the communication and being aware of where everyone else is on the ice. and getting all as one and in the defensive zone we were really key on making sure that we were picking up guys high and making sure that you know we weren't making any bad passes out of the zone and I thought guys tightened up and felt looked a lot more comfortable and having fun out there and our offense it was, it was there again we had a lot of scoring chances <clears throat> but uh, even yeah I played 40 minutes and I felt good and you know 
we were, I could communicate with our team and they were communicating back to me and we worked really well. And then Austin went in for the last 20 and he, you know, he made a huge save to start off the, his third period, which could have been a difference maker. And he looked a lot more comfortable after that and a lot in where he should be. Now, Adam, uh, just on a personal note, uh, obviously you come in really as the incumbent last year, you're sharing duties uh, towards the end with a fellow uh, 19 year old, I guess, last season. Uh, this year, obviously, it's a different story. You know, you're the, you're the 20-year-old established goaltender. You've got a couple of uh, rookies uh, behind you there. Are, are, are you feeling any kind of pressure in terms of uh, uh, carrying the mail, uh, at least in the early going here for the Wolves? Well, yeah, for sure. I know Bobby's putting a lot of, he'll be putting me in lots, and I'll be getting seen a lot of ice time, and lots will be on my shoulders. And, you know, all those rookie goalies, I'm, I'm here to put them under my wing, as you could say, and, you know, help them learn. and get them feeling more comfortable and better in the net and getting them to realize what SJ Hockey's about. And, but no, I'll be, uh, you know, I'm ready to go and we were feeling, I'm feeling pretty confident with myself. And Travis, uh, you were mentioning the depth that this team has up front. Uh, it seems to be like a lot of candidates for the top two lines. Do you have any idea where you're going to slot in, who you're going to play with at this stage yet? As of right now, no. Um, started off uh, with Doug and Mark and then kind of Bob always shuffles lines around so he's looking to get the best possible matches out there and you know never really know what you could one day you could be fourth line next day you could be first and it's just kind of a it's it's good because then you're always fighting for a spot and it keeps you honest right just finally how do you guys see the opening weekend uh, shaping up here obviously you have two home games home opener Friday nights it's the Hawks then came as the Sunday nights uh, how you uh, envision things happening uh, this, this weekend, start with you, Adam. Yeah, you know, I expect us to come out hard and at home here, we know that we'll never be outworked in this rink. So, you know, we're gonna have lots of banging and crashing and a lot of funneling pucks to the net, but I don't see why we can't, you know, win both games. We should, we're right where we wanna be and we're playing well. So hopefully we can come out with two wins. Travis, your expectations for the weekend? I'm thinking four points. I we definitely have the team we're in good shape we've been here doing conditioning for a while and i don't think there's another team in the league right now that's in as good a shape as we are like we've been going hard so the home opener it's always fun it gets your adrenaline going especially being the season opener because of the league champion last year and it's gonna be great like i can't wait to start up in real hockey again and then, well, Kindersley on Sunday and my old team and I, I can't wait to get out there against them and make the ice feel small for them because I know it's a tough rink to come into and play when you're a visiting team. And it's going to be fun. Yeah. Fans, I think, would echo that sentiment. They're going to enjoy this weekend. Uh, gentlemen, thanks for being on the program today. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having us. All right. If you're just joining us, this is Ice Wolves Insider, and we've been joined by Ice Wolves veterans Adam Barco and Travis Egham. We'll be right back with a chat with the coach.